Hey, Keith came in here. I picked up the Phantom 4 Pro to replace my Phantom 4. I absolutely love it. I did discover on my first flight when I was descending that the Phantom 4 Pro was wobbling a lot side to side compared to the Phantom 4. So I landed and I discovered that the plastic hub that sits on top of each motor, three of the four were loose, even though the screws that hold on the plastic hubs were tight. So I figured it was a screw issue, so I took the screws off my Phantom 4 since it's the same motor and I put them on the Phantom 4 Pro and sure enough, the plastic hub was tight again. So what I did is I went to DJI's website, I ordered part number 51 for the Phantom 4. It's $3, it, uh, it does two arms, comes with all the hardware and everything. So I ordered two kits, $6, $10 shipping. And uh, I just used those screws to replace the ones that are on my Phantom 4 Pro and it fixed everything. So here's just a quick tutorial to show you how to do that. Here's my Phantom 4 and Phantom 4 Pro side by side. So here's my Phantom 4. The hub's completely solid, completely tight, doesn't wiggle at all. And when you compare it to the Phantom 4 Pro that I just picked up, you can see that the hub wiggles just slightly. It feels a lot worse when you do it yourself in your, with your hands. But the screws are tight and it still moves. So it's clearly a screw issue. So I picked up part 51 and you can see it here. It's $3, it does two motors. So I picked up two kits, so $6 total. It was $10 shipping and it got here in three days from DJA. So here's the hub off the Phantom 4 Pro. It's the same hub as the Phantom 4, but the center is drilled out a little wider to accommodate the spring. And they also added the two nipples. And those plug into the two holes on each side of the motor. So the spring goes on, it's flared at the base. The plastic hub goes on top. And then I just used the new spring or the new screws from the kit to tighten everything down. Rock solid. If this helped you, give it a like. Thanks.